guys, I just saw this video from this fundamentalist pastor from Arizona, Pastor Anderson. And he's saying vegans and vegetarians are misguided. We're following this dangerous diet that could kill us and could maybe send us to hell. So I just felt like I had to respond to this. You know, I just couldn't let it go. And full disclosure, I'm of a different spiritual belief than Pastor Anderson. And I know many of our viewers here are, are Christians too. So I'm not going to get into that. I'm not going to discuss the algae. At least I'm going to try to minimize as much as possible. I'm going to try to stick to the facts presented here about his attacks on veganism and how they're just purely wrong. Nobody has ever eaten a vegan diet their whole life because you'll die as an infant if you don't eat animal products. Really, no one could survive through infancy as a vegan, let alone make it to adulthood. Well, is that some kind of fact, or do you just pull that out of your butt there, Pastor Anderson? Because do you think you know more than the American Dietetics Association, which is, which is not a pro-vegan or vegetarian group by any stretch? Some woman tried to feed her newborn a vegan diet and the baby died and she was charged with manslaughter negligence because she's trying to give this newborn baby you know it needed milk that it may grow thereby and she refused to give it milk because she wanted it to be a lifelong vegan so god created man in his own image in the image of god created he him man left female created he them animals are not human now it seems kind of obvious but i mean like, you need to see things like animals or children, too. I saw a billboard that said something like that once. And some things that separate animals from humans are, number one, animals don't have a soul. You read Genesis 2-7, you'll have to turn there. And it says, And the Lord got from the man of dust of the ground, and breathed, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. And also because of that, animals don't go to heaven. It says in Ecclesiastes 3.21, Who knows the spirit of man that goes upward and the spirit of the beast that goes downward to the earth? So my thing was, like, let's, say I was, let's say I were to die and they were to bury me. My spirit would go to heaven and my body would be just buried, right? Let's say my dog died. Because all it really was was just its body. And it, like, that's all it was, just its brain, which is all who it was. And they just bury it. And that was it. It's not going to heaven or hell. It's done. Animals were created for humans to have dominion over. And, and that means that's not a, and although hurting animals is not a sin, you shouldn't do it. Be, you, should not, you shouldn't really do it. And, but we, they, we can eat them and we have dominion over them. I think just Pastor Anderson is just pulling stuff out of his butt and just making vegans and vegetarians seem like we're demons. It's not religious. It's against God's will. Now let's get real. What we do do is we persuade people and it's not that difficult nowadays. And I'm not going to get up and lie to you and say that I don't believe that they're misguided because I believe they are misguided. But look, if somebody wants to be vegetarian or vegan for whatever reason, okay, great. But... If you're going to say it's because God wants us to, that's a doctrine of devils. That's right. Because the Bible says that a doctrine of devils is commanding to abstain from meats. So we need to be careful of that. So do, hey, look, so if a vegetarian starts commanding me to abstain from meats, that's why I'm going to say, hey, get thee behind me, Satan. Right. Now, if a vegetarian says, hey, I'm going to abstain from meat, okay. You're welcome to abstain from meat. But when they start imposing that on us, saying, hey, this is what God tells us to do. This is what God wants us to do. You need to do it too. You know what? They're preaching false doctrine. That's right. I mean, that's, that's a doctrine of devils. That is false because the most righteous men in the Old Testament are eating meat all day long. They're commanded to. Jesus Christ himself ate meat. First of all, he ate it in Genesis 18. He ate beef. In Genesis 18, when he appeared unto Abraham in the, in the heat of the day. But not only that, we know that he kept the law on this earth. So he did what? He ate the Passover. So we know he ate lamb. Not only that, we have evidence of him eating fish. We basically just need to make sure that we're nice to people if they want to order a vegetarian option or whatever. Just humor them. They'll eventually get around in their Bible reading to that part. Or if they, look, if they want to eat that way... It's no skin off your chicken, amen? You know I, mean? I think he's trying to have a little fun there, but that just perpetuates a dumb myth that vegans are not real men. I'm Angie. And I'm Ryan. And I'm here. <laughs>
Well, the last thing I want to do here is try to teach Pastor Anderson or anyone theology and scripture, but I am aware of the fact that in Genesis 129 and 130, there's some pretty clear scripture there, which says that humans were meant to eat plants, not the animals, but all the plants. And I know there's some other passages in the Old Testament which have similar themes and messages. Wherein were all manner of four-footed beasts of the earth, and wild beasts, and creeping things, and fowls of the air. And there came a voice to him, Rise, Peter, kill and eat. What does he mean there, that they'll eventually get around to their Bible reading about that part? Someone explain this to me, and Pastor Anderson, I'm all ears. Are you saying if people get around to their Bible reading in that part, the Bible will somehow say in there that it's not right, it's wrong to be a vegetarian or vegan? I don't know, somehow I doubt it says that. But all meat is acceptable. Again, I wonder, is that your interpretation there, Pastor Anderson? Or is, it, is that actual literally from Scripture that all meat is what we should be eating? Cat meat, dog meat, any kind of meat, it's all good, it's all fair game. And the fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth and upon every fowl of the air, upon all that moveth upon the earth and upon all the fishes of the sea. Into your hand are they delivered. Every moving thing that liveth shall be meat for you, even as the green herb have I given you all things. You know how he's just totally off here, and I bet you you'll show that he has really no theology to back up any of his statements. You cannot obey the commandments of God in the Old Testament and be a vegetarian. How? Because you must eat the Passover. And the Passover is not a tofu Passover. It was not a soybean Passover. It was not, uh, you know, some kind of a, a veggie burger Passover. The Passover was meat. Yeah. And you had to eat it. Yeah. Eat that Passover. Yeah. Oh, I'm vegetarian. Eat it. Yeah. <laughs> and if he refused to eat it, he's not obeying the Bible. Right. Look, priests, part of their job was to eat meat. Every day, that's their job, to eat meat, to eat meat, to eat meat. Daily, every day. 